Yo, what is up, YouTube, man? Today, we are talking about the Rafer Alston Signature Size Up in NBA 2K23. Real quick, if you guys are new, if you want to drop me a like and subscribe, of course, I appreciate it a ton. Signature Size Ups are a big part of how your player looks when he's dribbling. You saw in the intro clips, I love doing the between the legs throw with this. It's very street ball esque it's very non-boring looking it's something cool you can do you can speed boost out of it it might not be the absolute most meta dribble move in the game but it is useful it is fun if you guys don't know how to do this if the ball is in your left hand you're going to flick up right if the ball is in your right hand you're going to flick up left and then he will do it where he throws the ball between his legs you can also just flick the right joystick to the right if the ball is in your left hand to the left if the ball is in your right hand and he will do more of the basic looking signature size up animation as with all dribble moves once you have this animation on and you've used it in games you're going to get very comfortable with it you're going to be using it without even thinking about it and then you'll be able to pull off some cool combos like that I have a ton of fun just trying out new animations, trying to master those animations. I got a couple full gameplays for you guys so you can see this in action right here. I missed the first shot of the game, which is not the norm, believe it or not. I actually shoot about 58% from three, but I got no problem showing you guys some games where I do miss a few shots. You see, I'm using the Rafer Alston move. He's kind of playing back. I might be dribbling a little bit unnecessarily in this gameplay, but... I'm not a huge fan of people just playing back and me shooting wide open threes all game. I'm trying to make it interesting right here. Playing solid defense on a 6'8 build, 70 interior, 70 block right here. Again, Rafer Alston behind the back, moving step back right here. I'm going to be making a video on that soon. It gives just enough space. And check this out. I got to give credit where credit is due. He does like some kind of hop jumper right there. Gets me kind of confused. Honestly, I do not see a whole lot of people do that. He tries to mash me though. I feel like for me, getting mashed is not much of a problem now. I've played center in a lot of 2Ks, so I kind of know where I really need to be to make sure I get a contest and not just kind of be there and it still say wide open. Right here, though, none of that matters. He gets a funky layup animation to go in. Four to four now, and it is time to pull out the triple threat, man. I do miss the triple threat juke badge in NBA 2K22. I actually use that a lot in the 1v1 market. Step it back right here. Go to the corner. Kevin Durant fade, and I am not warm quite yet. I usually show you guys really good gameplays of me not missing, but I want to do something a little bit different for this video. I'm going to show you guys me starting off kind of bad, making up for it toward the end, toward the middle right there. Like I said, he's giving me a lot of space. I'm just taking the simple shot right there. This guy is using the hop jumper. As much as I use the hop jumper, you love to see it. He is like 6'11", 7 foot though. He definitely gets his points by mashing, which can be effective if you're really good at defense. But I am not going to keep missing shots. Ray for Alston, step it back. Three-pointer. I get the lead. See, even at this point, he's in a tough spot now because it seems like he can, well... Don't let me speak too soon. I was going to say it seems like he can only mash, but he does a big hop to the three-point line, ties it up right here, sizing him up to the three-pointer, green it, dance a little bit. You already know. The shot is warm now. The fade is warm. Stepping back for him, getting me, going to the hoop. Nice dunk. I cannot lie. I'm kind of having fun with this game. This guy does not play like the normal people I usually play. Right here again, another Kevin Durant fade. I got shot creating takeover. That is a bit deep, but we can hit those all day. Honestly, I like fading more than I even taking standstill shots this year. He gets the ball 11 to 15. He's playing back. I need to guard his three. For some reason, I'm giving him way too much space. He's hitting me with the walk back. I do have the 85 sill, the silver glove right here. Little spin move in the paint. Dribble it awkwardly. Get to the three-point line. Shoot the three. Green, man. I told you guys. It's not about how you start the game. It's about how you finish 11 to 18. Now he goes straight in for the rim run. 
A smart move, get a little momentum for himself. Little sham gut right here, side to side, right for Alston between the legs, behind the back, step it back to the corner, mid-range shot. Unfortunately, the hop is just not enough to get me to the three-point line, but I will take that to any day of the week. I give him space for no reason. I should have jumped. He gets it 16 to 20 now. Got it in the game between the legs, step it back, cross over right here to the side. Off one leg, and you already know for the game-winning shot, we got to green those. I got one more gameplay for you guys, but as you can see, you know, Ray for Olsen in action. This time, I'm going up against a smaller guard. He's giving me the space, stepping it back, three-point green. I'm not going to be missing shots like I did the first game. I'm warmed up now. 720 spin. You see he's reaching a little bit. Throw it between my legs. Run to the side. Step it back and I do miss that shot so you know the missed shot counter does appear to be at three but we're stepping it back we got low stamina he's giving me the space going for the dunk he just steps it back because he know he's not gonna get a stop at that point you know you beat somebody whenever they start doing that he still got zero points I'm sizing him up at the three-point line a smaller defender he's gonna be able to stop my three a lot more but he's gonna have a much harder time stopping my drive to the hoop and that is a way people can beat me. I am a three hunting player or, you know, I would say more of a shot taker. I'm not afraid to take the two mid range deep fades as well, but I usually don't go for the rim run unless I'm absolutely forced to. He's cold now and just peep the combos. I love this 1v1 theater court. It's so big. Pause. You can actually dribble around. It's not like old 1v1 courts where you don't have much space to do anything. You see, I didn't want to show you guys the defense. This guy was struggling. I mean, just absolutely struggling. He was trying to do a lot of this. I was stopping a lot of it. He does get the two-pointer right there, though. Being six foot eight, you got the speed, you got the size. Little hezzy step back, side to side, step it back. Green light, fourteen to two, man. Do let me know in the comments if you guys like seeing videos about certain dribble moves like this. I think I'm gonna make a video. I mean, testing out every dribble. I'm not gonna lie. I usually just change up my dribble moves every few games in the one v one market. Once I think I've done the dribble moves enough, I gotta change it up. See what else. See what else is out there. See if anything else is good. There are a lot of bad dribble moves in the game, but you know, there's things like this Ray for Alston. I feel like it's a hidden gem. You don't see people using this. He's giving me. I mean, he's not even defending me at this point, so I just step it back to the three-point line. 20 to 2. He gets a nice green right there. Like I said, he was taking shots like that. He was trying to get the rim runs. They just weren't working. If he would have hit a couple more of those shots, it could have been a different ball game for him. But 20 to 5 now. Signature size up for the win right here. Seeing if he's going to step up. A little couple sham gods back to back. Between the legs, behind the back. Step it back. A little bit tired, but we time it right, man. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. This is Tonic. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.